Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. I am currently in my last week of school. I just submitted a final for my intro to comics class, which was a writing intensive course, which was the only reason I took it. Um, but yeah, so I just submitted that final, which means I only have one final left and that is due on Friday. So I am currently going to take the rest of the day off. I was up until one o'clock this morning trying to do a lot on this PowerPoint that was due today. And yeah, so I'm currently going to take the rest of the day off. I'm going to relax, I'm going to watch a movie, and I'm going to do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day. Hello, uh, me and Shauna are on our way to go get a COVID test because, you know, being an actor is difficult, especially whenever you're in the same vicinity with a lot of other actors. So we have to keep ourselves safe and, um, we have to be really cautious. So we are on our way to go get a COVID test. This guy did not look both ways and it just scared the out of me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're on our way to go get a COVID test now. Just got a freaking Christmas mask too. I need to make myself a Christmas mask 100%. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go get this COVID test. Um, and then after that, we are going to um, Duncan. Yeah, cause I have a problem. <laughs> We just got done with our test and that one hurt. The worst one. That was the worst one I've had and that one really, really, really did hurt. Oh, oh it's, it's so a new funny. hour. Why haven't they done the Christmas music yet? Oh, shame Usually, on them. They put the Christmas music in around this time, like right after Thanksgiving. Sorry, we're getting off topic. We're kind of upset now. I'm upset. Ah. It's here. <laughs> Way to go, Marshall. What a nasty <laughs> trick they played on us. <laughs> I love my school. Hello everyone, I just finished putting away laundry. I forgot to um, video it though, so I do not have any footage from that, but I just finished putting away laundry and now I am probably going to maybe do the dishes and then just tidy up around the house a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that's really it. My life is just confusing now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said, I just finished putting away laundry. Um, I might tidy up the um, living room and do the dishes at least. I just found a giant hair clump on my jeans. Like, giant hair clump. Um, Anyway, I can't stay on one topic today. I think it's because I'm tired, but I've been really off topic all day today. I try to start a conversation and then it just veers off into a completely different conversation. So I'm going to stop this video before I get into um, just a rambling fest. And yeah, I'm gonna go try to do something. <laughs> everyone <clears throat> I just ate a banana I have not had a drink after that so that's what that voice just was um but anyway hello it is laundry day for me um I need to do the laundry so bad like this basket is so full so that's what I'm about to do I'll do a time lapse of me separating my clothes and doing all of that stuff but yeah that's what I'm about to do it is Wednesday also
approximately two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I had a leak under my sink. I don't know how long it had been like that, um, but we had no water pressure in just the kitchen and the laundry room last night. Um, and the water was like white because it was filled with so many air bubbles. So I had to get a hold of my landlord this morning to come and get a maintenance man here to fix it and he did so um that's what my morning has consisted of and i'm breaking out really bad like all over my face i don't know what's going on um but yeah so now shauna is currently coming over she's had a rough day so um we're gonna hang out for a little bit um and yeah i didn't get to make myself coffee this morning because of the water so my brother was at the gym and I called him and asked him if he could get me some Dunkin <clears throat> so I have already had one cup of Dunkin today and then I'm about to make myself another cup because I'm still kind of tired and I also need to shower um, but like I said our water pressure was kind of weird last night and I didn't want to turn on the water anywhere and our water bill was super high this month, so now I know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, it's just been a really long day and it's only 2.14. So, and it's not, uh, I'm not the only person having a rough day. So it makes me feel a little bit better. Maybe it's just today. Is today a bad day for anyone else or is it just me? <laughs> okay, ah! let me just give you a little background information. So we have done the prologue from Henry V, right? Is that Henry V? Yes, okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, it I have to do right mine. I know! I have to do mine on yellow paper because I'm dyslexic and I can't read on white paper. It's the black and white contrast that confuses the heck out of my brain. We did this, um, like, a quarter of this speech her freshman year, my sophomore year. Tasks that did fright the air at Agincourt. Boom! Hold <laughs> the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire. Update! <laughs> Alyssa just fell after she turned off the camera. <laughs> Into me. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> hits head on desk right here. <laughs> BRB. Hello, so the next clip you're going to see is our trailer for Theater Etc. I am super excited about this and there are being some edits done on it. So this is the first look of our teaser trailer. So you all are getting the blessing of getting to watch this. It is super great and super exciting. Um, this is our educational touring company that is at Marshall. And we usually will tour to the elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools um, that are studying the topic that we are covering in our show. And this year with COVID going on, we had to film our show instead of touring with it. So that's what this trailer is. And there's still some things missing, but other than that, it's super exciting and I hope you all like it. Hi, my name is Leah Turley and I'm artistic director for Marshall University Theater, etc. That's our educational touring company. And on behalf of myself, our managing director, Jack Cirillo and our Women's Shakespeare Company, we are proud to bring you Willy Shakes, a collection of Shakespeare scenes reimagined in the time of COVID. I will attend her here and woo her with some spirit when she comes. Spirit come. Sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Oh, Women are made to warm. Marry, so I mean, sweet Katharina, in thy bed. And therefore, setting all this chat aside, thus in plain terms, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife. Kate is our title true. She's opinionated, quick-witted, sharp-tongued, and somewhat violent. First time we meet Kate, she has tied up and beaten her little sister. 
the kind, good-natured, and very pretty Bianca. While Petruchio, a strapping young man who craves a challenge, is our titled tamer in this story. C. Baptista, Bianca and Kate's father, has a hard and fast rule that his youngest, Bianca, cannot marry until he marries off the older, shrew-like Kate. And herein, the challenge begins. That you have wronged me doth appear in this. Go to. You are not, Cassius. I am. I say you are not. Urge me no more, I shall forget myself. Have mind upon your health and tempt me no further. Away, slight woman. Not. Do not presume too much upon my love. I may do that. I shall be sorry for. You have done that you should be sorry for. There are no terrors, Cassius, in your threats. For I am armed so strong in honesty that they pass by me like an idle wind, which I respect not. What would you? The rudeness that hath appeared in me have I learned from my entertainment. What I am and what I would are secret as maidenhead. To your ears, divinity. To any others, profanation. Next. Most sweet lady, a comfortable doctrine, and much may be said of it. What is your text? It lies in Orsino's bosom. In his bosom? In what chapter of his bosom? <sighs> to answer by the method in the first of his heart. Laid on. Oh, I... Lady, you are the cruelest she alive if you will lead these graces to the grave and leave the world no copy. Oh, I will not. In Shakespeare's romantic comedies, like Twelfth Night, and As You Like It, Disguise plays a different role. Viola and Rosalind conceal themselves as men for safety. During Shakespeare's time, it wasn't safe for women to travel without a male companion. So, Rosalind and Viola, even being victims of circumstance, are forced to dress and behave as men until such a time that they can reveal their gender without visiting harm upon themselves. Thou art a villain! <gasps> A plague of both your houses! Oh, Romeo, the brave Mercutio's death! <laughs> <laughs> this shall determine that! Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't seen it already, my previous vlog is down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you all next week.